Hello. So, <clears throat> oh, I think I've got asthma. It's really weird. Like, I never used to have asthma as a child. And I swear in the last few months, I have started to develop mild asthma. And it's really irritating. <clears throat> anyway, um, I, hate, I was going to say I hate recording, like, in my bed the whole time. But um, it just, it gives me something to do when I'm actually in bed if that makes sense like because I do spend a lot of time resting it gives me something to do that's kind of productive whilst in bed um and I've got a busy day ahead therefore I don't want to be sitting like up in a chair taking energy out of myself when I've got things to do so here I am in bed again looking amazing <laughs> okay i'm gonna do the questions um lauren i've I tried to write them on my phone now but um i just kind of jot it down briefly so lauren was talking about the we fit and if we knew what it was and if we used it and when i got diagnosed with pots we went and bought a we um because you know i got told exercise is the treatment and I got the Wii Fit, and I wouldn't have got it if I hadn't got POTS, um, because it is, you know, it is expensive for, I guess, a game, but we thought if it was going to make me better, of course we'll get it, um, and I started out the Wii Fit, but, uh, I mean, it was fun, but I would literally stand on the board, and then five seconds later, want to pass out, and, would end up in bed for two days um if ever I did anything like I couldn't do the physical stuff on it I couldn't do any of the cycling or the running or the I just couldn't do that kind of stuff I could do like the balance board things um I was really good at the balancing actually like there's one that you use your hands as well as your feet and you've got to get the balls into the buckets. And I was really good at that one. But um, that's the only one that didn't tire me, but it mentally tired me because it's a lot of concentration. Um, so I've not done it in a long time. Oh, and I also actually, I used to do the juggling and the, I used to try and do the boxing. But again, boxing is very tiring with pots. Um, it was just too much for me. Okay, Rachel, if winter didn't make you feel sick, would you like it? Um, it's a hard question, that, because, as you say, you know, we, we do feel, a, we do seem to feel a bit worse in the winter, therefore it's hard to know what we would like. However, I'm going to say, when it's, it's not snowed yet this year, however, it's meant to snow this week, um, I really do not like winter in that sense because when it snows it seems to gridlock everything I mean we get trapped in the house and even though we live in the city everything comes to a standstill and last year we were trapped in the house for a month because they couldn't clear our streets therefore no I do not like winter um what question am I on and yeah I didn't mention, Rachel said how we'd Skyped and um, I was going to mention it in last week's video because I'd recorded a bit of it and I was going to put it in at the end but I totally went over time so I couldn't but yeah it was really fun and we should definitely do it again sometime. Um, and Caroline, I just want to say your bird, I don't know how you cope with that because if, if I had a bird in my room that was constantly whistling at me, I would just be like, oh my god, I would, I would actually go crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't know how you cope with it. Um, and the way, the way it kept doing, the like, kind of, I can't really impersonate it very well, but like that, <whistles> you know, that kind of one, it's like, it's like it's chatting you up. I'm not being funny, but like here, the whistle for like if someone chats you up it's gonna like 
you know, kind of like, way. <laughs> anyway, that's awkward. Um, moving on. Your question was, do you dream? Um, no. Not, well, not that I know of, anyway. I mean, er people say everybody dreams, but, um, I can never remember a dream I have. However, I have nightmares. Not all the time. Um, I have... In the last few months, I've got a piece of paper, um, it's a chart, and I record on it how much, what medications I take that day, what, how much fluid I take, how much salt I take, what my blood pressure was that day, what my heart rate was doing that day, um, what my energy was that day, where I went that day, you know, I record, like, everything on it, I record, like, hormone patterns, um, things like that, and I've actually, and sleep, and I've noticed that, which is really weird, on day 21 and day 22 of every month cycle, I have a nightmare that night, and it's really weird, to be honest, and it's, and looking up what that kind of time of the month means, it's progesterone, the hormone, and yeah, I mean, I think it's quite interesting that I've noticed that pattern, but <sighs> they're, they're actually horrible nightmares, but when I was really sick with mono, I had nightmares so bad, like, I had nightmares that people were killing me, I was killing people, and I guess it showed that my brain was really affected when I was ill, but then again, I did have a fever for over a month, so I would guess it was kind of also delirious. Um, anyway. Um... What was that? Okay, so that was all the questions this week, and what was I going to say? I guess I should talk about my week, but I've not written anything down for my week, so can I remember? Um, Monday and Tuesday last week, I wasn't feeling very well, I don't think. I just, I just didn't feel good. Um, and talking about hormones again my hormones have gone really weird this month like they're just in the weirdest patterns and anyway uh, so that has really been messing me around because it just makes me feel terrible um but then and then on Tuesday I was meant to have a maths tutor but I had to cancel because I just wasn't feeling up to it and um on Wednesday I met I just I'd arranged ages ago to meet up with two of my friends at lunchtime in Costa coffee I think that uh, that uh, pretty much everywhere in the world has a Costa coffee okay everywhere that's like developed <clears throat> has a Costa coffee um and it's I went there on Wednesday to see a friend I haven't seen for a year actually and that okay so my computer just conveniently cut out um, so I've changed to a different place, and there's a really bright window. <laughs> okay, uh, where was I? Um, so Wednesday I met up with these two friends, and that went fine. My heart was really fast, actually, throughout the whole time, but I did it. Um, and then on Thursday I had my fourth driving lesson, and I did traffic, Traffic lights, roundabouts, hill starts. It was really fun. I loved it. I just love driving so much. It's just the best. Um, the window is so bright. Oh, I look terrible today. Okay. You can see... Oh, you can see my blonde hair in this light now. If, but... Um, anyway, oh my god, I'm so brain dead today. Um, so that was Thursday. I can't remember what I did on Friday, and I can't remember what I did on Saturday. Oh, also on Thursday I went shopping. Not really shopping, I went to a big supermarket. But anyway, I got, oh, I've got to show you what I got, actually. I got, you know how I love these sherbet things? Well, because it's a big place, like, it supplies businesses. 
I got a whole box. And there's like 60 of these sherbet sticks. It's so I was so happy. <laughs> it's a cheap way to buy them as well because I go through so many. Um, what else was I going to say? Ugh, I'm so brain dead. <sighs> um, yeah, since my driving I've been really tired to be honest. I think it took a lot out of me. But um, it's worth it as far as I'm concerned because I love it so much. Um, I was going to show you whilst I'm at my desk. I've got some, I've been doing maths again this week, some homework. And I've got a really busy week next week on Tuesday maths, Wednesday English, Thursday driving lesson, Friday doctors. Um, anyway, my maths. I do all my work in um, on squared paper, but you can't see it in this light. There we go, because I find it easier to put numbers into boxes. And I'm just showing you this because I'm really proud. <laughs> because in just a few lessons, I, I've that's all my home just homework, and on every page, go yeah, every page is just. Ugh. every page is just solid work and then I mark it myself and everything and yeah so I'm just proud that I've managed to do that because I went for such a long period of time without doing any work because my brain just couldn't concentrate so I'm happy with that and then this thing over here is the thing I've been doing this week. When I've not had my good days, I've tried to make myself get out of bed so I don't get deconditioned. And I've been making this craft project, which um, is this head. And basically, it was polystyrene, and I stuck loads and loads of different paper onto it to create this pattern like that, that's just loads and loads of different paper and then it's called decoupage and then I did things like I put fake eyelashes on it and you know, drew on the face and everything and so I'm really, it took me about a month to do that and if you see the eyelashes they've got diamonds on them it's really hard to see in this light but I'm really pleased with that because it took me about a month to do and I really enjoyed doing it, so. Um, I need to have a question. Okay, what are you all doing for Christmas and New Year? Um, for me, I really don't know yet because um, my gran, my other gran now, is very ill in hospital and everyone's saying that we don't think she'll even make it to Christmas. So for Christmas this year, I'll probably be at a funeral. Um, so cheery. Um, so therefore we cannot plan to do anything fun or anything like that. So I have absolutely nothing planned for Christmas, except one of my friends is having a big party on the 22nd of December. And it's going to be a massive party, as in house party type thing um, and I'm one of her best friends so she's like oh you have to come however it's going to be so awkward because someone else that's going is um, let's just say a stalker of mine and um, <laughs> yeah that would be fun um, so I will need to I probably need to go shopping to get something to wear you know typical girl thing um, so yeah, I'm excited for that, and other than that, no plans. Okay, so, bye, everybody. <laughs>